your Fox 24 local weather authority forecast. Stormier weather later today will dampen those high temperatures. It is still pretty mild compared to even what we saw a few hours ago, but much more cloudy. This is a live look at the tall city on this pretty yeah, cloudy Thursday morning. We have a good look at the Bank of America Tower. Thanks to our Springboard Center Sky Tracker for providing us this still, you know, cloudy, but good visibility seen for now. But thunderstorms may dampen not only temperatures, but visibility ahead. Satellite and radar showing thunderstorms moving through the hill country just off to the northeast of Abilene and here in the basin in the Eddy and Lee County region. There are some thicker clouds and rain showers associated with the big storm system moving on through combining with the cold front that will really start to kick up the thunderstorms later today. A slight risk of severe weather from Hobbs, Lemisa, Midland, Odessa toward Big Lake and enhanced risk. A higher chance of that in San Angelo, Abilene and farther to the east. Main impacts being heavy rain, large hail, strong winds and frequent lightning strikes all courtesy of this low pressure system with a fungal boundary just to the north of Midland and Odessa in this yellow line that dry line meaning more humid air to the east drier out to the west with clear skies in the Marfa Plateau more humid with clouds in eastern areas of West Texas and you see that kind of counterclockwise spin that's that low pressure system winds a little bit more from the north and east right now in around Midland and Odessa but kind of battling between southerly and northerly winds that's why there's that easterly component in those winds 69 right now with that east north easterly wind at 16 miles per hour 61 percent relative humidity and good visibility out there Temperatures still above normal for most of the region. Cooler in Hobbs, 61. But look at that, 74 right now in places like a Dryden. Struggling to warm up pretty much north of I-20 today. Struggling to reach the 60s and 70s. See that sharp contrast in the greens, yellows, and oranges, and reds, and purples. Mid upper 90s in Terrell County, 60s in Hill Country, including northeastern areas of West Texas. Average high 89 will be well below that, depending on how stormy we will be. I think it will be right around 77. Low temperatures in the 50s this evening. Rain with large hail, strong wind gusts, and frequent lightning starting to pop up, I would say, within the next few hours near the eastern parts of our viewing area. Those yellows, oranges, and reds indicating heavy rain, some lightning strikes, but more widespread rain activity moving through this evening. These reds, again, really indicating much needed rainfall, but that potential for flash flooding. Please be careful out there. Storms ending overnight, temperatures dropping in the 50s with lighter winds, preluding to a more settled weather pattern as we head into tomorrow with clear skies. So below normal temperatures today, still below normal temperatures tomorrow, starting off in the 50s, but warming up in the 80s. High 90s, low triple digits this weekend may reach at least 100 for the first time this season on Sunday in Midland. Still hot Monday, but cooler after that.